Globally, cancer causes more deaths than HIV, TB, and malaria combined. Cancer is the third highest cause of morbidity in Kenya with 7% of deaths per year after infectious diseases and cardiovascular diseases. 30% of cancers are curable if detected early. 30% of cancers are treatable with prolonged survival if detected early. 30% of cancer patients can be provided with adequate symptom management and palliative care. Less than 7% of cervical cancer patients in Kenya are getting the optimum treatment needed to eradicate the disease, leading to unnecessary deaths. Apparently, between 70 and 80% of cancer cases in Kenya are diagnosed in late stages due to lack of awareness, inadequate diagnostic facilities, lack of treatment facilities, high cost of treatment, and high poverty index. The country has an estimate of 39,000 new cases of cancer each year, with more than 27,000 deaths per year, with 60 of those affected by cancer being younger than 17 years. One in every 10 children survive cancer in Kenya compared to 7 out of 10 in developed countries. passionate about women matters. As I grew up a country, I realized that women have a lot of issues with their reproductive health. Women would just die in their houses, not talking about their, their diseases. And from that, that time, I knew I had to do something. I had to talk to women to open up to reproductive health. Through these networks, a number of women from the grassroots level have been taken to Kenyatta National Hospital for specialized treatment. We have worked with them through the tedious and expensive treatment process, inspiring hope by means of psychosocial support and skills development in order to start life afresh. I was able to get in 2005. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. I was able to get my radiotherapy for four times. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. I was able to get my husband in Kenya. Dia ni rekutan dan nari deh, mama moja, mana itu harus ni. Dia rekutan dan screening, kula senti pol, akan itu mau ku, dia ni kaya dah uku, kafanya dan screening, after kafanya dan screening, kan dia ni rudi kenyata, kafati dia baru mau ku senti pol, dia ni kaya dah kenyata, dah kenyata, kafanya dia mati babu kidogo kidogo, dia ni rekutan dan rudi, kan dia ni rudi nombani. Sasa ni kaa pewa appointment, karudi Kenyata tena. Ata, ni this year sasa. Ata kurudi Kenyata, kambio ni tafani wa paopsi. Siku kuwa na pesa, paopsi ni kambio ni 11,800. Ni karudi kwa ride ho, kawambia vile ni liambio. Sasa ni kapatio pesa na ride ho, 11,800. Na katuo, ni kuwa ni naenda Kenyata, hapo kitambo. 
kabla sijaenda therapy kienda kini hata kutolewa kanda unalipa 600 ukiapiwa appointment nyingine unalipa pesa sasa wakati hiyo nilipewa na read hook 11800 ndio nikaenda nikafanyio nikafanyio biopsy nikafanyio biopsy sasa ndio tunangojea biopsy itoke sasa nimekunywa madawa na ninanunuliwa na red hook kwa sababu nimekunywa madawa na kwanza dawa ile nilikunywa juu ya heavy breathing nilikunywa dawa ya 5000 halafu hiyo ikaisha kaambia sina damu nikaleta mimi nikitoka Kenyatta ninaleta majibu kwa red hook kwa sababu mimi sina uwezo hata wakati ule niliacha kutibiwa huko Kenyatta ni uwezo nilikosa kwa maana bwana yangu wako kuwa na, na kasi mimi sina kasi uko na watoto na tunakaa nyumbani sasa mimi nikipewa majibu na kuja kwa red hook sasa nilipewa majibu yengine nikaambia sina damu ni lazima nipewe madawa yengine ya kukunywa ndio damu niongezee nikakuja nikalipiwa na red hook eh, 4000 4200 alafu kutoka wakati huo sasa niliambiwa kwa maana biopsy haijatoka ngojee biopsy na ninagojea biopsy itoke ndio ni endelee na matibabu na ninafurahia red hook kwa maana kama sasa niko hapa niko na hivi breeding sikukua nikiweza kununua parts mm, vitu vingine kama ni kukula mzuri ni red hook nakusa hapa tuna red hook anatafuta eh, daktari wa kutufunza vile mtu wa breeding anakula vile mtu wa breeding anakaa sasa mimi nafurahia kwa maana kama ni pants ama ni tissue tunapata hapa kwa red hook kwa hivyo mimi nafurahia red hook kwa maana wakati mtu ule saa ile mtu ana diagnose akaambia kwa na kansa mtu anaona kifo The program gives patients a chance to meet others facing similar challenges thus knowing that they are not alone Most patients in the program are faced stigma in the society due to bleeding and foul smell which are symptoms and characteristics of the disease. Kienda kwa watu yetu, waambie mimi niko na kansa na mimi ni mgonjwa, anasema mimi sio mgonjwa. Wananiangalia uso na wananiangalia mwili, lakini ugonjwa wa kansa unaumia mtu na huku ndani kama breeding, kutokwa na uzaa, unakaa kama sio mtu anapendeka kwa watu yao. At Lady Hope, they meet others who have overcome the challenge, thus getting the encouragement that they can also overcome. Ni ni hede de rokire. Mweli wa kenda. Na ni ni nyonete umithio guku. Na ni na no drive na bere na gukena. Ni undu ogo twikitwe ni ni Veronica. Na ngai arathi me Veronica. Ona leo the to to kuigua marwarite na kugisagini no to kumera moke to koro to ihamu to diri diri to emwe nao ni bwa ndo matiga go kwaga kwe matiga kwetua matire matire na mwihoko ni to kwenda magie na mwihoko to to tikwa na gikuo to kwena ngai by the time we get them, someone who is bedridden i normally go to face with them to continue giving them hope and show them love so that they can continue um, pushing on and the other one has gone back to Kenyatta like today her husband has been our great help because he is the one we met first and introduced about the red hook and then he helped us to get his wife and you know that just as you saw to come at that I mean the one stare uh to me pattern in sightise toka kwa redis hop tangu kwanza na redis hop ilikuwa last year mwezi wa sita last year mwezi wa sita lakini tukaanza kubuatilia kama stera kwa hospitali ilikuwa naenda tu naenda tunaongea na wao mimi naenda hospitali na mwelezea vile tunaenda naenda baka na yeye sasa akapata hapo akatoka hospitali sasa sasa hii tunaenda kama yeye kusikiza tu mimi namuzindikiza Sasa kwa sahii tunaona 
hapa kwa sawa kwa maana sasa hii inaanza mwachilia tembea peke yake vanye vitu zake mazukuru mu to cater for medical needs as well as rehabilitation for a period of six months, each patient requires up to 350,000 Kenya shillings. <laughs> Eh, nilirudi huko Kenyatta nikaambiwa nikipitia upande wa serikali eh nitatolewa hiyo matiti mwaka ujao kwa hivyo mtu akaniambia nitafute pesa ni niende nikatolewe hiyo matiti private nilipoenda kwa daktari akaniambia ni shilingi 1250 ambaye mimi maisha yangu sijawahi kupata pesa kama hizi nikusikia nasikia Kwa hivyo nilirudi nikatafuta pahali ningepata pesa nikakosa singepata ku raise that amount of money maana kwangu mimi ilikuwa ni pesa nyingi sana Nili, nilienda huko Mwea Karira ambako nilitolewa hiyo matiti na shilingi 1150 Wakati nilitoka huko nilirudi hapa nikaenda kutafuta pahali nitawekwa dawa ya kemo pahali nilienda ilikuwa ninatoa shilingi 1030 after every 3 weeks natoa 3000 ili kuwekwa dawa nditubidi tufanye harambe na unfortunately kwa hiyo kijiji kulikuwa na watu wawili mmoja alikuwa ameenda Ulaya anafanywa anafanywa harambe pia yeye alikuwa na kanza ya matiti kwa hivyo kile kidogo nilipata nikaendeleza halafu sasa nikaanza hata kukopa nilikopa ili nipate pesa ya kuendeleza hiyo e, nini hiyo hiyo e, hiyo kemo nilifanywa hiyo kemo na nimemaliza halafu tena nikaenda sasa tukakopa pesa tukapata ya radiotherapy radiotherapy nimefanywa hapo Kenyatta na nilimaliza Friday ya last week. Ndio sababu unaona mpaka huku nimechomeka. Huku hivi nimechomwa na, na nini? Lakini nashukuru Mungu maana ninaendelea sasa kilichobaki sasa ni kutafuta pesa za wenyewe niwaregeshe. Uh, we have our activities, empowerment activities which we do every Friday as we meet with the women. They do bead work, they do scarf making. We are calling upon Good Samaritans to give us market. If it's supermarkets, we can get a table and sell what we are making. People can come buy from us. Every Friday we are here at Kehinko and at, at St. Catherine of Siena. And even seeing supporters, we are encouraged and we feel important that we are doing something to impact the rights of others out there. Those who can support with, with materials, we need wool, we need beads, they can come and help us. We have a few supporters, Kimpe East Africa is supporting us with, with sanitary towels and with tissue papers. These women need the sanitary towels because most of them are bleeding heavily and they've had a challenge going to create awareness. Because once a woman is bleeding, she can't freely go out there and start talking about, about her cervical cancer. So. We call upon other organizations, other manufacturers of such products to come to our aid. After successful treatment, we equip them with low-cost material for startup of their income generating venture. Sasa tuniliomba kuombea kuna sadaka kutoka kwa Lady Hope ambaye tutaiombea ili Mungu aweze kubariki kazi ya mikono yako wakati ambapo utakuwa unafanya. In your loving providence of God, you have made the forces of nature subject to the work of our hands. Grant that by devotion to our, our own work, we may gladly cooperate with you in the building up of creation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody keep asking. Yes, I'm doing so. Sarah, we must be able to focus on empowerment. We must try to find a capisa. So we must not be afraid. We must be able to find a capisa. Our vision at Lady Hope is to have as many as 10 women completing the session each month and successfully being integrated in the society as our cervical cancer screening advocacy ambassadors. Currently, we have 46 cancer-affected women in the program but can only accommodate two living patients at a time. Our vision in the near future is to accommodate up to 30 women in addition to those who attend our daily generating income activities. Mimi kazi yangu huko umesikia ati I'm a field officer ni kusomesha wa mama vikundi ya youth mostly youth sababu hata hii ugonjwa unashika hawa watoto wetu vijana wetu. Kwa hivyo mimi kazi yangu sana ni kusomesha hao youth vikundi ya mama vikundi ya wazee ndio waende wapimo wajijue wao wenyewe ndio waende wa watibiwe na hiyo kazi ya kusomesha sio kazi rahisi sababu huna pesa na kikundi ile unaenda kuwasomesha wanasema hapana she's faded na hakuna kitu ni kuwasaidia tu lakini wanategemea ati kuna kitu utawapeleke utawapelekea that is another problem so kama tukipata usaidizi kutoka kwa serikali hiyo ijiri tutaendelea sababu hii ugonjwa ukijulikana mapema utatibiwa na utaendelea na maisha for those in the last stages in the disease they are able to divert their minds from their pain and struggle as they engage in lady hope's wellness institute programs being part of lady hope patients receive psychosocial support spiritual support material and financial support as well as preparation in the fight against cervical cancer and other preventable and treatable reproductive health issues. Um, Dr. Maina Simon Mabu, uh, just cleared my bachelor's in medicine and surgery, currently uh, from Nairobi University. I'm well pleased to be working with Hope and the cancer patients, and we hope by God's grace we we'll continue doing more for the society. Thank you. Cancer is a very expensive disease to treat, thus we should all join hands in fighting it and working towards preventive measures. We are all affected by cancer burden, as what affects one directly affects all indirectly. We are appealing to the government and to well-wishers to come to our aid. Cancer patients are really undergoing problems. They need your support. They have their medication to, to buy. They have food to buy. When cancer hits a family, everything goes down. It, they only spend their money on cancer. And we have children who dropped out of school because of the disease. We want such children taken care of. And we are appealing to those good Samaritans out there to think about the cancer epidemic in our country.